Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and in this video we're going to do a quick overview of Soho Sales IQ. This is a customer engagement platform that you can use to learn more about your website visitors as well as communicate with them via chat. All right, let's get started. Here we are in the live view tab where you will see all the visitors that are on the website at this moment. The different cycles represent the time that the visitors spend on your website. When you click on a visitor, you can see more information about it, like how much time he spent on the website so far, or what page they are on, as well as the source. If this is a returning visitor, you will see that here as well. When the visitor is on your website, he will see a chat box and can start a conversation with you at any time. When they start a conversation, you will get a message and you can accept the chat from that box. Here you can respond to the inquires, as well as see more information about the visitor. And on the right, you can perform actions related to other Zoho apps. For example, you can add this visitor to the CRM as a lead. If the visitor is already in the CRM, you will see the info here. As you can see, now we are on the My Chats tab, and this is an open chat, but you can find missed and closed chats here as well. This is the active chats view, but you can change it here. If you have multiple agents answering to chats, you can find all the chats on this tab. This is the active chats view, but you can change it here and you can filter chats with this button. You can also receive calls through your chat, so if you enable this feature, the calls will be here. In this case, we don't have this feature enabled. On the Visitors tab, you can see a list of the people that visited your website organized in a timeline. You can click on any visitor to see more information about it. You can also filter by returning visitors to see who came back to your website. The Feedback tab shows any feedback the agents got after chatting with someone. When the chat ends, it prompts the visitor to leave feedback. Most visitors don't leave any feedback, but the ones that do, it will be here. This way, you can review the conversation if someone leaves negative feedback. On the Reports tab, you will see a few dashboards that show information about the visitors, chat, and operator performance. You can filter by department with this button. In the Resource tab, you can find all the canned responses, as well as FAQs and articles you have created. You can also add more records here, or edit the ones you already have. The articles are synced from Zoho Desk if you have the integration set up. And in this last tab, you can see some basic information about your profile. Now let's go over the settings. In general, you can find your profile and company profile, as well as the operators, where you can add or remove operators and assign them to departments. In departments, you can create or modify any departments you have in your organization. This way, you can select what departments should respond to a chat based on specific information, like if the visitor is in certain section of your website. In brands, we can see all the websites we have set up. You can create several brands that will allow you to generate different chats. For example, you can add a chat to your knowledge database for users that are looking for specific answers about your products and another chat to your sales website for people that are looking to buy your product. This way you can separate your sales department from your supports department. In this case, we have one brand and here we can personalize the chat like the icon, the appearance and even the language. Then we have the flow control where you can change settings about the form to initiate the chat, waiting time, departments, and more. And finally, we have the configurations to make all the changes to the brand. All right, let's go back to the settings. Global settings allow you to change the operator interface, the visitor interface, email configurations, and more. And we also have the option to create email templates and tags. Next, we have some messaging channels like Facebook, so you can answer chats generated in Facebook. In automations, you can set up triggers, visitors routing, chat routing, lead scoring, and more that will help you with organizing the visitors and sending the chats to the right departments and agents. For example, you can start an automatic chat with visitors that land on a specific page on your website. In controls, you can set up a chat monitor and block IP addresses. Zobot is where you can create your chatbot. You can use a chatbot to answer some basic questions that your visitors might have, as well as connecting the visitor to the right department. This is really useful if you get a lot of traffic on your website. There are a lot of options available here, and you will have to learn a bit of deluge to code the actions that the bot can perform. You also have the option to create an answer bot that is a chat bot, but focus on articles available in the knowledge database. So the bot will try to find articles related to the questions the user is asking. Finally, we have the developer section. Here you can find the integrations available for Sales IQ, and there are a lot of options in the list, as well as set up webhooks and configure other options that are more advanced, like creating widgets and using form controllers. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please click the like button. 
Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Zoho Sales IQ is part of the Zoho One suite, so if you would like to try out Zoho One, I will leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching.